Hello Taurus, welcome to your November 15th to 30th general love reading for 2018. I apologize that it's a little bit late coming out. I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde or what, but I have been having so much trouble with my camera, my mic, it, it just, they just shut off on me. So I'm hoping that I can get through this reading for you and get it up. Now I have laid the cards out the way I always do, three across, three down. The cards that are next to each other play off of each other. This card in the center plays off of everything because diagonal, right? So, card in the center is part of your overall energy combined with bottom of the deck. I want to remind you that the extendeds are 222 until the end of December. I want to thank you for liking, sharing, viewing, and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. Center card, Five of Swords. This is all about being careful how you fight that battle because what tends to happen is if we go in with the idea that we don't care how it goes, we just want to win. We don't care what the information is. We don't care how we handle this, how we deal with people. We just want to win. Be careful because you might win the battle, but you're going to lose the war. You're going to alienate yourself from a lot of people that you don't want to alienate yourself from. Bottom of the deck card is the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is all about manifesting, wanting to manifest your desires into your reality. So if you want to do that, be careful how you do that. Be careful how you go after those desires. Now, the rest of your reading, you have a Six of Cups, Death card, The World, Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, The Fool, ooh, Three of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups. This is all about someone or something from the past, okay? Coming back into your life, coming back around. It's karmic. It could be somebody from a past life. It could be somebody from just your past in this life. It could be a situation from the past that uh, possibly even a karmic lesson that hasn't been learned yet. So it's coming back around for the lesson. Okay. The death card. This is all about transitions transformations could be about an ending it could be saying that this uh, karmic lesson maybe you have learned it it's done it's over you've learned the lesson now you're closing that cycle with the world card you're closing or ending that cycle and able to start a new one brand new one. And these cycles with the world card generally represent something that's been around for years. Five, seven, ten, fifteen years. We're not talking weeks or months, okay? These are big cycles that are coming to an end and new one beginning. But then we move into the five of wands, which is conflict. This could be inner conflict. It could be external. It generally, I find it's external conflict. It can also represent jealousies, um, people around you that don't like the direction you're heading in. They don't agree with, with um, maybe this new direction you're going in. It also represents it's petty arguments and backbiting and nitpicking. It's not anything major, okay? Neither is this, but this card, the Five of Swords, is all about how you fight the battle. Fight fair, okay? That is what this card is saying. Fight fair, whatever it is you're fighting for. And it's going to be different for all of you, but this is your overall energy. You're part of it. And so that's a big, a big message here for you. Be careful how you fight this battle. Be careful how you, you pull your, your desires and your, your dreams into reality. Okay, because this person here, Five of Swords represents um, doing whatever it takes to get what you want at all costs, including other people's feelings, okay? 
So not a good, not a good thing. And you have two five cards side by side here. Big, big life changes. And then we have the eight of swords. So this is all about you trapping yourself because of what you're afraid of. There's something that you're resisting, something you're afraid of, and you're not moving forward. You're stuck. You're trapping yourself, like I said. That could have something to do with this battle. If it's fought, um, you know, if it's a below the belt kind of battle, it's going to leave you here. You're going to feel very trapped, very stuck, very alone. But it's also um, both of them, swords. So it's all about the intellect. It's about thoughts, beliefs, okay? And this is you trapping yourself. It's it's just your thoughts. You know, the fear, the, the, the emotions that you have or the thoughts that you have, it's just literally in your head. It, there's nothing, there's nothing trapping you except for you. And down here, the seven of pentacles. This is all about working at something for a long time. You know, you start at the beginning and you till the land and you plant the seeds and you water the seeds and you weed the garden and you fertilize and you watch it come up and you watch it grow and you do everything you can to make it the best crop you've had. And then it reaches a point where all you can do is just sit back and wait till it's it's ready to to be utilized, eaten, you know, whatever this crop is. So this also tells me it's all about divine timing. So you are definitely being divinely guided. You've got this new cycle coming in. You've got the seven of pentacles here. The Fool card, um, this is all about divine guidance and you being willing to take that leap of faith. And that's what it is, a leap of faith. You don't know where you're leaping to. You don't know what's coming. It's the unknown. But you have faith enough to know that you're moving into a better place, moving in a better direction, starting a brand new journey, and you take that leap. And if you do take that leap, you have the Three of Cups. Now this can represent, it is celebration with friends and family, so it can represent a number of, of reasons for celebrating with your friends and family. It can be engagement, it can be a marriage, um, a brand new committed relationship. You're very happy, you're very happy. This transformation that's coming in with the death card, this, this ending that's going to create a transformation for you, it's going to um, it's going to put you in this frame of mind you want to fight. You know, sometimes we can go through what's called the dark night of the soul period. And while you're in it, you you do feel trapped. You feel stuck. You feel fearful of, of the unknown because this is what's coming in. The world card, the um, fool card, they're both the unknown. And if you look on the world card, look in the center. If you can see it, it's this guy. It's the fool, right? So this, whatever this new cycle is that's coming in, you're being asked to take a leap of faith. You've got the fool right in the center of this globe here. You will have the world in your hands. You will have it all if you take this leap of faith. That's what I'm getting off of this. 
try to avoid being trapped, feeling trapped, feeling the fear, and avoid, avoid the fighting. If you can, avoid that. But taking this leap of faith, that's what's going to bring your desires into reality, manifesting them. But keep in mind it is divinely timed. I'm hearing antsy. You're going to feel very antsy. That's what this card is about. It's all about the divine timing. It's about the waiting. You're being asked to be patient and wait again. And that's that's making you anxious. It's making you antsy. It's making you... Um, look how dark this card is. You're in a dark place. You're in a dark place. This transformation, look at how dark this is. You're in a dark place. The transformation puts you in a dark place. There's no clarity. And that's where the fear and the being trapped comes from. But just allow it to move you forward the way it's meant to move forward. Allow divine timing. Allow divine guidance. Take that leap of faith because you're not going to look back. This, um, whatever this is from the past, this karmic lesson, this person, um, just memories. It could just be you thinking of the past. It puts you in a really dark place. But the other side of that dark place, this is all fear, right? This is all fear driven, the center of your spread here. It's all fear-driven. Move through it. Whatever this is, move through it. Because you've got a transformation. You've got um, either memories of the past, someone from the past, or a situation from the past. Transformation, an ending of a cycle, so a new cycle can begin. So this is all kind of dark, unknown things just kind of moving in a funky direction it places you in a place of fear and it's right across the center so you can go from this to this and look at this divine guidance a brand new path if you take a leap of faith and happiness celebration so what this is telling me is this is the transformation and whatever's ending and then you have fear because you don't know where you're headed. Move through the fear, and this is what you have. But I do feel, I know the Five of Swords is not about fear, but you do have the fear card here, and this looks pretty dark, you know? And everyone fears darkness. When you can't see where you're headed, yeah, it's, it's, it can be frightening. But this is telling you to move through the fear. Take that leap. Take that step. Trust. Trust that the universe is going to have a place for your foot to land and that it's guiding you. The universe is guiding you to this, this joy and celebration and happiness and partying. And you just have to move through the fear. You know... I don't know how many times I've said this, but if you think back over your life, everything that you've ever really wanted has been on the other side of fear. You've had to move through fear one way or another to get to the things that you really want. And if you really want to manifest your desires and your wishes and your dreams into reality, that's what you're gonna have to do because here it is, it's all down here. You're up here, you got to go through that curtain of fear and unknown or fear of the unknown to have what it is that you want. Wow. Okay, guys, the extended is $2.22. The link is up here. I'll see you on the other side. If you're not going to the other side, thank you again for being here. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.